You've talked openly about um, fucking fans. Mm -hmm. Uh, Can you tell me about, like, the first fan that you had sex with and, like, kind of what your parameters were for that? Totally. Um, I'm trying to think. Okay, so I think the first fan stuff I actually ever did was at raves Mm -hmm. Um, because I I still go to a lot of raves. But I remember being like, oh, we're going to play a game Where's Adriana instead of Where's Waldo. First fans to find me get a blowjob. Um, and this is at the time where like, uh, what was, what was like really going off? I think Snapchat was really Mm -hmm. going off. Um, and I had all my model releases like digitally. Mm -hmm. So I remember being like, oh, if you can find me, get a free blowjob. And then, uh, I had throughout the night, like maybe like six or seven fans came and found me. Um, but none of them were brave enough. Right. Right. (laughs) So I finally found a girl fan. And what was the funniest thing about it is she had her boyfriend and she was like, oh, my boyfriend's here. He loves you. Like, can you just wait? Like, I'm going to go get him and come back. And I think I was running around the rave like two hours later, she shows up and she's like, this is my boyfriend. Like, you've got to suck his dick. And my first actual like fan blowjob or fan experience was with a uh, a couple and me and her both gave a blowjob and filmed it at the rave. And I remember it got put on some like rave outlet. Like, uh, uh, we think Adriana, Adriana Chechik was spotted sucking off a fan. And it's just like the back of mine and her head, just like going like this. Oh my God. <laughs> it was really great for my Snapchat too. Um, so, I bet people, wait, and you had electronic model releases? Yeah, yeah. So I'd be so like, they did, like, yeah, I'd be like, here's a free blowjob if you sign this. And then... Um, this is what I love about you. Like, this dirty side of you where you're yeah. like, I'm going to give a free blowjob to, like, the first, like, fan that I find. But also, like, I'm organized yeah. and coherent enough to be like, oh, you have to sign yeah. a model release. Like, it's like that business side. Yeah. You know what I mean? I love that. Well, That's so I funny. Also, so... I, I always I always vouch for this because people, even within porn, uh, some girls wouldn't want to work with me or they would be like, oh, you're too crazy. You do you do unprotected stuff. But ironically, is like uh, even some of those scenes I've released publicly because I love like flavored condoms mm-hmm. um, and glow in the dark condoms and stuff like that. So I'm like, ironically, like I'm also being safe. And then I've always carried around Orquix. I don't know mm-hmm. if you know mm-hmm. what those are. So you can get Orquix at like CVS and stuff like that. It's a 99% effective STD test. Oh, wow. And you just like swab the inside of somebody's mouth and then you wait like 10 minutes and it'll give you the results. So, because I get hooked up with girl fans and yeah. stuff. Um, and I'm like, here, hold on. Can I just like swab you real quick? Yeah. <laughs> quick. Um, so it's really funny because people think I'm like super crazy and dirty, but I am within bounds, you know? Yeah. Within really good limits. Yeah, that's gr- I mean, yeah, you definitely have that that reputation for like the girl that does like everything. Mm-hmm. Um I mean, there's so many people who admire you for that. Actually, I will say uh the girl that I interviewed right before you came was Kaylee Gunner and she would really uh, like to work with you. Oh, I she love was, her. She, she's lovely. Yeah. She's like tell Adriana and I want to work with her. Uh, so I'm telling say you. Hi. <laughs> um <laughs> That's good. Sadly though, I guess you're not performing anymore. No. So a little bit for my OnlyFans. I'm gonna do like um probably about another year and a half. Okay. And then transition. Okay. Well, we're gonna get to that. Yeah. We're gonna get to that after the commercial break. But um, yeah, I mean it's just great because you definitely have like this this crazy reputation and you're really good with that I feel like you're really great with branding and your image yeah but then you also have this very business side to you which is like here's an STD test yeah here's a model release like let's actually you know this is a transactional thing totally that's so cool I had you know also like I've always protected myself because I never want anybody to try and make me take back the content right (laughs) oh you're like and I feel like um you know if you throw if you throw a model release in somebody's face it causes them to double think, okay, do I really want to be filmed or not? Right. Um, so they know it's legit. But I will say one of my, like, funniest fan experiences was probably my blow bang. Mm-hmm. I had gotten a bunch of guys to do a fan blow bang. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I was like, I'll give you, like, a flashlight photo, you know, if you just want to come, come do it and I'll pay for your test. Mm-hmm. And I had, I think, 17 guys. Uh, three of them were virgins. And some of them flew all from different states to California to shoot this. And it was so wild because um, not only they were, were they really, really good, like they put me on, they put me on a, a spinning stool and they were like spinning me around, like fucking my face and everything like that. And it was so good. Like at the end of it, 
um, I was like, wow, that's so good. And at the time I had a boyfriend and an assistant and I was like, whoa, this was so good. We, we filmed 58 minutes nonstop. Mm -hmm. Everyone came on time. And then my boyfriend at the time turns to me and he's like, mm, I gave everyone a Viagra. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, ah, oh. he was like, I wanted to make sure you had a good day, you know? <laughs> but it's ironic because I find that fans sometimes are better than male performers because um, especially when it comes to like multiple guys and having to come on time because they're so excited. Yeah. They really want to try hard. Yeah. And then um, they don't have that kind of jaded, jaded mentality. Like, um, you know, I, I love our male performers, but to get them all to come when you want them to come, if you're doing like multiple pop shots is really fucking hard. Yeah. You know, some yeah. of them's like, oh, I need two minutes in the corner. Yeah. So I find the fans are great because if they see another guy come on you, they're like, oh, I'm done. And then, yeah. you know, come on you. So it's like perfect. It is a weird like chain reaction, isn't yeah, it? It's yeah. like one guy comes, like I've talked to people about Bukaki, like Bukaki scenes like this. And it's like a weird, like one guy comes and then like all the rest of them, like. Yeah. It's like, yeah, it's really bizarre. Yeah. And then it's like the worst if somebody's got to take their like two minutes to themselves, yeah. you know, you're like, oh, everything was perfect I you know. know and then you just sit there with all this cum on your face and you and it's starting to get cold and like yeah. maybe dry on your face and you're like come the fuck on dude yeah, and then yeah. like you're not in the moment anymore